It's about 8.40 in the morning and it's already 78 degrees. So hopefully it's a little cooler there on the trail with all the trees and everything. And there's some waterfalls, so it should be a lot cooler there. But I'm gonna tread through for the people, for the children. DuPont, DuPont, DuPont State, I'm at DuPont State Recreational Forest and just went in the visitor center, really nice volunteer gave me this map and this is what we're, this is what we're going to do, we're going to do the loop trail, as you can see it's in green and we're going to hit Triple Falls and High Falls. And then we're going to go down the road and park and we're going to hit Hooker Falls. So that's the plan, man. First, I've got to change. I'm hoping I can jump in the water near those waterfalls, but I don't know. Greetings, Earthlings. If you're new here, my name's Tanya. And today I'm going to take you on a hike. We're going to go to High Falls, Triple Falls, and Hooker Falls. Okay, here's the little visitor center. And I want to show you guys something inside. It's super cool. 15 years ago. Okay, guys, look at this. This is so cool. So we are right here in this parking area. And High Falls Loop is what we're going to take. But look how cool this display is. And they show High Falls right there. There's also a covered bridge we can go on. I don't know if I'm going to, but I'm definitely going to go to the base. Just pretend this is a drone. I'm flying my drone. Okay, guys, let's hit the trail. And I didn't ask, but it looks like they've got some kind of classroom, outdoor classroom sometime. So that would be cool. High Falls Loop. Here we go. Oh, yes. Much cooler already. That's good. Stopping so you can hear the birds.
little creek below us. Oh, I needed this after being in the city all day yesterday. I'm still trying to find... Look how that tree fell. other tree holding it up. Trees are so cool. Just weaved in and out of those trees just for the fun of it. It must be pretty near because I can already hear the water. Don't know if y'all can hear it or not. the base of the falls and get in the water. Well, you're not going to get in the water because it would ruin my camera, but you can watch.
saw another place too I want to go. Don't see me almost fall in a couple times. That was fun. That water is cold, but it feels so good. I don't know the temperature of it. I'll also try to find out how big that waterfall actually is. I don't know if it says it on that um, map that guy gave me or not. Let's go see if I can go to that other spot. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can you can see the water spraying through the air. Can you see that? I can't tell. Hands in my eyes. Can you see it in the air? big old tree step here feels good and safe okay not too bad right there is where I went down my way but if I can I just like to explore all my options Target, right? Is the way to target? Target, yeah. Okay, so that's <laughs> thought. And Walmart. <laughs> ah. I am fascinated by trees. How their roots just go wherever they want. And check out this tree. It's got little steps going up. Some fairies could live in there. It's cool. Okay, we're going to go down there, but first, I want to see what's over here. We're going to get a good view of the waterfall. Do this for stupid people like me. 
I would probably go over there and get in it. Just a cool flat rock. I hope you can hear me, but look, there's a heart going on down. Those girls are having fun. I don't know if I'm that brave. Who was waiting for me? Somebody left me a duck. Let's go. of it so it won't wobble. This trail, Hooker Falls Trail, is supposed to be a lot shorter, 0.4 of a mile. And I already hear people, I think, down there. Yep, and I hear the falls. So we're almost there. Okay, here's what I know you've all been wondering. Why is it called Hooker Falls? I'm not going to read this. Start over here. No, nope, that's Chris now. Well, you know what? Maybe we need to read the whole thing. We need to stack up. And we can press pause and read it if you want. There we go. Named after John Hooker. We purchased the land in Grist Mill in 1881 and lived on the property and ran the mill for more than 30 years. So now you know.
stopping to take a break. Now that's a duck. 